What's up, guys? This is Adam with Tech Like a Boss, and today we're going to be talking about PowerPoint. We're going to talk about how to make an awesome PowerPoint presentation easily, quickly, even if you don't know anything at all about PowerPoint. This is one of the coolest programs in the world. Obviously, it comes with um, Office. If you have Office 365, if you have Office uh, 2021, um, so forth and so on, you can get PowerPoint, and um, it's pretty cheap, and it will let you create presentations for um, the office, home, school, whatever you're doing. You can always create a nice presentation with this program. Uh, pretty quick, pretty easy. So when I first open up PowerPoint, I click blank presentation. Here we are. Uh, the first slide is going to give me a title and a subtitle, and um, just because it's very generic here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, add a title. Click to add a title. So go ahead and type, um, let's say, uh, tech like a boss subtitle helping you with tech stuffs. All right. So that looks, you know, pretty basic, pretty ugly. Um, if you go over here to the left side, you see your preview of all of your slides. If you right click, you can go down and go to new slide. It'll give you a new one. You can duplicate this one if you want and just have the same slide twice. But I'll click new slide. Now, every slide after the first one is going to have this delay out when you first open it up. You're going to have a title for that slide and then um, either bullet point text or it has these um, quick links here where you can add in different stuff. You can add in a chart. You can add in a picture from the web, picture from your um, machine that you're on. You can insert a table. You can insert some smart art which is pretty cool, um, a 3D model, an icon, video. So we're going to add in um, section one. Let's just say PowerPoint, all right? And then uh, create cool stuffs. Make mom proud. Impress friends. Make money. All right. So, again, this is very basic, kind of ugly, but it would do. So, after you create something, if you want to play it, press F5, and it'll start it. Press the arrow key, or um, you could have it on a timer, but press the arrow key to go to the next slide. Arrow key again, is it done. All right, now let's spruce this up a little bit. Let's make it look pretty. So, on the title page, you can see on your tabs up here on the ribbon, your first tab is Home. And when you're on home, let's say you select the title. You see that all of this that lights up here? This is just like Word, just like Microsoft Word here. It gives you the ability to change the text, change the size, bold it, change the color, change the um, alignment. Um, you can change all of that there. You can change the fill color of the whole box here. See that? Um, I can change the outline of the box. Uh, I can put effects on it. I can put. I can even make it into a theme. All right. I'm not going to mess with any of that though right now. Go over here to insert. Now on insert, you have all of these options. This is just tons of stuff that we could not fin uh, fully go over in one video. But you can insert a new slide from here. You can insert a table from here. You can insert a picture, a screenshot, photo album, a shape, a smart art a chart, you can put an add in in, you can put a link in, an action, comments, header, footer, text box, word art, all of that. All right. What's the point of some of this stuff? Before we do the inserts, I want to show you something really cool though, it's called design. Design will shortcut so much time and effort for you. Design goes ahead and it, just like the word says, designs your PowerPoint and all your future slides. Now there's quite a few designs that you can pick to start with, or you can browse for themes. And when you browse for themes, you could actually download themes from the web onto your computer and apply them. But I'm just going to give an example of one of these um, designs. And let's just do this one. See that? It's called organic. Hover over it. It'll show you what it's going to look like in that design. And then I'm going to click it. When you click it, it applies that design to all the slides. So now this ugly um, 
very simple PowerPoint has become a pretty cool looking thing. There's my second one. Look at that. Very nice. They formatted all that for me. Put a nice little border on there. Put it inside of uh, a rectangle uh, with nice edges. Very good. Very nice. Now if I right click here and do new slide, it's going to give me that same format. So what other kind of things can you add in here? Well, one of the one of the cool things to PowerPoint that has always been um, one of its best features is the transitions and animations. So when I go from one slide to another, that's a transition. The default transition is cut, meaning it just goes immediately from one slide to another. If I want to put a nice transition other than just a cut from one to two, I click transition on the tabs at the top, and then I pick which one I want. If you hover over, you'll have an explanation there of what they do. If you actually click it, you'll see it. See, there you go. That's what it's doing now. If I go to wipe, it's going to wipe it. If I go to split, it'll split it from the middle. Reveal. It almost fade into the next one. That's really cool. Um, you can do the cut. You can do random bars. Kind of old school there. You can do it in a shape. You can uncover it. You can cover it. You can flash it from white. Expand this and you can see all of these other transitions. I like this one myself. It's called Zoom. Um, but I'm going to go back and just do an easy reveal. Yeah. Let's kind of fade into the next one. Now, notice over here on the left side, there's a star underneath number two now. That says that from one to two, you're going to have this transition reveal. Now, from how about from two to three? Well, really, if you're making a PowerPoint, you pretty much want the same transition between all of your slides to make it uniform, to make it nice and coherent. But just for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to do fade. All right. So now, to test this, press the preview button or F5. There you go. All right. So that is transitions. Very helpful, very useful. You can use it for all those. Over toward the right, you can have a sound with your transition if you want. You can have the you can set the duration as well. So right now it takes 3.4 seconds to go from one slide to another. You can um, apply this same sound and duration to all slides by clicking this button. And then over on advanced slide, this means it's going to click. It's going to go from one slide to another when you click the mouse or the arrow key. Um, you can turn that off, and actually, you can switch it to a timer. You just do it every so so many seconds if you want. Um, in the effects options here, this is where you can actually change the options of each effect, each transition. So that's transitions. The next section up here in tabs is animations. Animations we can think of as um, the transitions of the finer points inside of a slide. So the transitions are from one slide to another. The animations are the transitions of what's in the slide, the content of the slide. So I have bullet points here. Well, I don't want all these bullet points to come up at the same time. I want to talk about them as I'm telling people um, about this. So on this particular bullet point, the first one, I want it to fly in. There we go. That's number one. See that came right up. All right, I'm going to select the second one. And this one, I want it to fade in. That's number two. Oh, look, I'm really going to mix it up. And I'm going to make the fourth one. We'll have it have a white transition. That's number three. And then impress my friends. That's going to come in as a wheel. Look at there. Number four. Okay, so now let's test this. Let's just hit F5. There we are. Press the arrow key, there's my animation. Press the arrow key, there's my transition. Second one, third one, and fourth one. And then again, here's my transition to my last slide and we're done. So that's transitions, animations, design, and then slideshow. Slideshow, you can play it from the beginning. You can play it from the current slide that you're on. You can tell it to play narrations, timing, use timings, show media controls. Um, now, for the narrations, this is kind of cool if you want to go ahead and record yourself and like send it to somebody with all the recordings 
in it. And um, to do that, you go over to the recording tab and you can record audio right on the slide. So like, for example, record sound. And let's just say, this concludes Tech Like a Boss awesome slideshow. Stop, press OK. And then look, if I click it here, press play. This concludes Tech Like a Boss awesome slideshow. Okay, so that's in there now. So what do I'm gonna what do I want to do with that? So if I go over here to the playback, once this is selected, once the little um, microphone thing is selected, the speaker, I can say play this in the background. I can say um, start this automatically when you get to this slide, or start it in a click sequence, as in put it in a transition. Uh, only do it when I click on it. You can fade the audio in, you can fade the audio out, you can trim the audio if you want. But I'm just going to now show you what it does after you put it in. Press F5. We're going to go ahead and preview. Yeah, go past, go past, and... This concludes Tech Like a Boss awesome slideshow. You see there, the, the animation obviously does not show up, and it plays the sound as soon as the slide comes in and then it's over and so that is a narration and you see that it's transition number zero now if I click this and let's say um, wait don't stop and let's go ahead and make this a transition and let's do white Okay, now let's go ahead and preview. This concludes. There we go. This concludes Tech Like a Boss awesome slideshow. All right, so now it's ending the slide. See here advanced slide after 6.12 seconds turn that off all right now let's try it. f5 skip to the end this concludes tech like a boss awesome slideshow there we go no longer this ends it concludes tech like a boss well it's repeating all right how do we get the repeat off go to playback Loop until stopped, turn that off. All right, now your audio will no longer, your narration will no longer replay. But anyway, that's just some cool stuff that you can do inside of PowerPoint. Um, another couple things that are really neat, I'm going to show you real quick and then I'll let you go. Um, we end, let's say we create a new slide, we're going to take off the uh, default format here, delete those two things, just click around the border of them and then hit the delete button. And let's say I want to put a chart in here. Well, I want to show you something, maybe um, some data. When you press OK on the chart that you select, you'll notice an Excel pop-up actually comes up here. And this Excel pop-up, it'll give you um, some little cells that you can put data in and then it'll reflect it in the chart below. Now you just click the X on that and here's your chart. If you ever want to edit it, just right-click the chart and go to Edit Data. And then there's the chart again. And then I can change any of this I want. So you put a 10 here. See, automatically moves my chart. Um, I can put my chart title here. Um, I can change my categories. I can do whatever I want with this here. Um, and now I have a really neat chart that's just in the middle of the slideshow to show people my figures. Let's do another slide. Um, let's delete this title, delete this text, and let's add in, let's go back to insert, and let's add in a picture. What kind of picture? I want a picture on the online. I don't want to have to go find a picture. This is cool. 
Now, unfortunately, it uses Bing Search because it's a Microsoft product, but that's okay. Let's uh, just look up tech. Type in a word, press enter, and here are the Bing image results for whatever phrase that you type in. Pretty cool. And then, so let's say I like this picture. Click it, press insert. There it is. Go ahead and expand it. I mean, that's not really going to help anybody, but I think it's kind of cool. So there's a picture straight from the web. We can even make it with a transition. Here we go. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And now let's um, let's see. Let's click the image. Now notice this. Every time you click an object in PowerPoint or anything in Word, even Excel sometimes, it is going to give you its own little menu for that thing, that object. So like this object has picture tools. Click that. Click format. Now this is all the things that I can do with this picture right now. I can put a style around it, a border around it. I can change um, some of the different sharpen, soften it, uh, brightness, contrast for it. Um, I can try to remove a background, which would be impossible on this one. Um, I can do some artistic effects to it. So that's just a couple things you can do with the pictures. Um, let's add another slide. And also on insert, I could do smart art. Smart art is awesome. Smart art will allow you to put flow charts um, and different things along that those same lines. Um, pyramids, matrix, cycles, hierarchies, all kinds of junk in here. Um, just click one. Press OK. There it is. Comes right up. I can put a picture and a text next to all of these. I get my little menu on the side. Uh, tier one. Tier two. The, the possibilities are endless here. I say, oh, I don't really like that color. Okay, we'll go up here and change color. Well, I really don't like that design. Okay, we'll click over here at the layout and change the design. Look at that. See how quick that changes? And this could be an ancestry um, side thing, uh, tree. It could be a, you know, a process for something that you're putting together. It can be a project um, process. It could be um, a hierarchy for a company. It could be anything. Um, but it's quick, it's easy, and all you have to do is insert smart art, and that's smart art. So again, there's just a few things there, guys, with PowerPoint, how to use it, what it looks like, how to make an e a presentation easy, how to use design, insert, transitions, animations, and uh, if there's anything else on PowerPoint that you are interested in knowing about that you want to see, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'll be glad to make another video on it. And if you like this video, go ahead and click like for me. Subscribe for more. I appreciate you checking these out. It's awesome that you're here. And if you want to know a little bit more about um, Excel, for example, I got a link right here in this uh, video that will tell you how to use Excel quick and easy for beginners. It'll show you all of the basic things for Excel. So go ahead and click on it. Guys, this has been Adam with Tech Like a Boss. Thanks so much for being here. I'll see you in the next video.